Today, we're diving into Apple's latest iMac, the M3 2023. Now, if you're wondering if this new all-in-one desktop is a game changer, you're in the right place. We've spent some serious time with this machine, and I'm here to break down everything you need to know, from its familiar design to the power boost under the hood, and yes, even how it handles gaming. Let's get into it. All right, first up, let's talk design. At first glance, you might think Apple hasn't changed a thing since the iMac's major redesign in 2021. And you'd be right. The iMac M3 still has that incredibly slim 11.5 millimeter body that fits all the components neatly behind the screen. It's sleek, it's colorful, but that chin, you know, the thick bezel below the display is still there. Now look, that chin is iconic. It gives the iMac its distinct look. But in 2023, I think a lot of people were hoping for something a bit more modern. Apple could have gone for a cleaner, bezel-less look like their MacBooks. But hey, it's a design choice that keeps some of the iMac's history alive, for better or worse. Around back, it's still minimalist, but there are some quirks. You've got four USB-C ports, but if you're going for the base model, you'll only get two. And no Ethernet port on that base model either, so if you want wired internet, You'll need a USB-C adapter or spring for a higher-end configuration with the gigabit ethernet built into the power adapter. One thing that did not change, and honestly, I wish it had, is the Magic Mouse. Look, I'm just going to say it. This thing is outdated, flat, uncomfortable, and you still can't use it while charging. Like, come on, Apple, you've heard us complain about this for years. But on the plus side, if you want to upgrade, the Magic Trackpad is a much better option, though at a hefty $129. Now let's talk about the display. It's still the 23.5 inch 4.5K Retina display, which is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, colors are vibrant, the brightness hits up to 500 nits, and true tone keeps everything looking natural. But there's one little issue, the size. That resolution of 4,480 by 2,520 is almost too much for a screen this size. A lot of users might find themselves scaling the display to make text more readable. Ideally, a 27-inch model would be perfect for this resolution, but Apple hasn't hinted at any plans to bring that size back for the iMac. Still, if you're doing creative work, editing photos or videos, this screen will look stunning. And if you need a bigger display, well, Apple's got you covered with the Mac Studio or Mac Mini paired with a larger monitor like the Studio Display. Now, the big upgrade here is the M3 chip. This is where things start to get exciting. Apple's new M3 is built on 3 nanometer technology, meaning it's faster and more efficient than both the M1 and M2. Apple iMac M3 pros and cons. Pros, powerful M3 chip, stunning 4.5K retina display, quiet operation, good battery life for an all-in-one. Cons, expensive base model, limited storage and memory options. Now, let's talk about storage and memory. This is where things get a little tricky. The base model comes with 256 gigabyte SSD and eight gigabytes of memory. That's not much, especially for long-term use. And upgrading those specs, it gets pricey fast. For an extra 512 gigabytes of storage, you're looking at a $400 upgrade and you can't expand after purchase. So choose wisely. So what's the final verdict? The iMac M3 2023 is a solid all-in-one machine. It brings more power with the new M3 chip. And if you're coming from an older model, you'll definitely notice the performance boost. The design, though familiar, still feels modern, and the display is gorgeous, despite being a bit small for its resolution. But at nearly $1,300 for the base model with 8GB of memory and 256GB of storage, it's hard to recommend if you're on a budget. For that price, the Mac Mini or Mac Studio with a separate monitor might give you better value.